So uh, beginner cinematographer, I mean, do you think, should they like get a loan out and get a red or just get something that can shoot? I mean, I've, I think a couple of years ago, I saw a lot of DPs, especially on music videos, they were using like a GH5, GH5S, mm -hmm. just have that. And then they would rent bigger things when there's a bigger budget. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, how do you feel about like one, owning equipment, mm -hmm. renting equipment, and I guess the mix, what do you think is kind of a good way to get started as a cinematographer in terms of what you should have? It, my impression, trying to understand how the system works, is that you need the equipment until you don't, right? All right. <laughs> and, and so, so uh, if, if everything works out, once you start uh, working on jobs that are, let's say, studio-based or anything that is industry at an industry level, Oh, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. need it. Yeah, of you, you, you can have it, but you, you're like you're yeah. not like people yeah. don't expect it from you by far. And also because it's all project based. So maybe one one project you you want the Venice, mm -hmm. the other one you want the Alexa, the other you want the, the Canon maybe, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and the lenses. And with everything else is like that, and it makes sense that it's like that. So you work with the rental houses on the indie, and it's so crazy because when you don't have the money and when you're starting out, that's when you need to invest. And it does happen, and I can tell at least from my experience, I mm. see that happening every time. You are uh, selected or hired on an indie job. If it's not half because of your equipment, it sometimes it's a hundred percent, or mm. it, it, it that uh, happens too often, and I think that's terrible. But again, if I put myself on the director's uh, position or producer position, and I'm hiring someone, and the person says, "Oh, I'm, I'm you know," or I'm, they present themselves very nicely. You check their work; it's amazing, yeah. or let's say it's it's good. You think, okay, that this person is good enough. What do they have? Mm. Oh, I'm gonna bring uh, a seventy yeah. from you know <laughs> 2011. Jeez. And yeah. you're gonna say, well, sure, but um, you know, uh, we really need at least 4K yeah, yeah. deliverables and things like that. So you started to be left out, mm. and equipment is extremely expensive. So I think there's a financial barrier in this uh, role that is super complicated, mm. and I think it's insane to get a low end and get a camera, mm. this is exactly what I did. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's it's just crazy. And I've done it more than once, to be honest, mm. uh, the last 10 years, or I can definitely say the last like, seven, eight, all the money from every project, and I just, I, I live just doing that. I don't do anything else. All the money goes into equipment. And I don't mm. go out, I don't do nothing. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not even one of those, because nowadays it's common to see people who are um, addicted to buying yeah, 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 stuff, yeah. you know? Everything I, I have, I use it 100%. Yeah, so yeah. I, I really research and if I have a piece of equipment, I use it until it's destroyed that mm. I use it so much. At least I do that, you know? It's not that I'm, there's nothing, get, you know, getting dust in, in, my, yeah. in my drawers, anything. It's always going out. If I'm not using it, I sell it or, yeah. but you need it. And also because I'm so, I guess, I don't know, I feel so committed to delivering the vision mm. that if I know that a project needs a certain lens that I don't have, if I can buy it, I will, even if I shouldn't. And then I, you know, I can get maybe a uh, paid in installments. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, but financially, yeah. I'm never doing the right thing. But I don't <laughs> okay. know how that would be. Yeah, because the way I think- Because you like, don't have a mentor, that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, if I, uh, uh, the way I see it, yeah. And I think this is really important. At least I really trust in this. It's the long run. You're in this yeah. for the long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, working with film, it's not something that you, ah, I'm going to try this, maybe I'll try something else. You can, but if you want to succeed, yeah, yeah. I, I find it very hard to think of a life in film mm. if not forever. Yeah. Or if not until, you know. Um, and, and the way I see it, if I buy that lens, maybe now it's not the best. But on the long run, if, the, if that project has the feel and the look that I was hoping for, yeah. that the director is expecting, everyone gains. Mm. And maybe now I'm losing financially, but that will take me closer perhaps to Absolutely. you know exposure to then uh, having proper money. Also, I think you know working with arts in general, money should always be a consequence, right? I hear you. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and I know it's very hard, but I think people have different priorities. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Some people, they need to party or they need to whatever, mm. uh, have the fancy car, I don't know, yeah. whatever. Well, they have kids. Or yeah. yeah, or yeah, yeah, or no, they, honestly, yeah, I was like, yeah, I've got or, like mouths to feed, yeah, yeah. But they have, they need a f support a family, yeah, sure. Yeah. And that's a big topic that is super long. I, don't, like, I think it's for another <laughs> yeah, conversation. Yeah, that's so good. That's but, so good yeah. uh, it it's full of compromises, yeah, yeah. and and many times I think like, could I maybe have a kid now? Never. I think hmm. for myself, like, and if I can still decide, of course, many situations. If it happens, it happens. But it's one of those big questions that yeah, I yeah. think no, but 
I'm not gonna be able to do what I'm trying to do, mm. and it's not gonna be good for whoever comes. Absolutely. So maybe not. But you see how far it goes. It's not something any other job you I think you can kind of manage and change and adapt the job to your circumstance. Mm. I don't think a life in film it works like that. I think you kind of a lot of people will disagree and a lot of people say no, but I've done it, sure. And amazing. I yeah. I struggle to see how I the way I see it because mm. I don't want to do those things. I want to do sure, yeah. feature. I want to yeah. you know. So of course it will. There will, it will come at a cost if it comes at all. Yeah, I mean, and also I think the majority of the times it, that it doesn't work out that way. I mean, I think just because it can work, the minorities don't like prove the rule. Like the majority is the majority for a reason because nine times out of ten, you need to make a choice. And I mean, if you are going to go full force at something like this kind of career, like or like kind of any kind of art career, it is hard to do that plus juggle a family, plus do all these things. You can do it, but can you do both to the level that you'd like to do both? Yes. That's really the question. Can you offer both sides of yourself, the, the family person, the, the artist who needs to do this thing all the time? Can you offer both of those parts of yourself everything that you want to? No, I'm not, and obviously life in general is a compromise. I mean, it's full of compromises, mm. but I mean, like you said, we, we live once, right? So yeah, um, yeah. I think we need to spend our time wisely, right? And and that's fine. And I think that's totally personal. So that's like yeah, without yeah. any judgment or yeah, yeah. it's it's completely personal. Absolutely, Maybe yeah. I'm a completely crazy, insane person. That's what I want to do. Fine. Sure you are. Yeah. For me, yeah. it would never be, you know, the happy way yeah, for yeah. someone else. Just to, to go back to the equipment. I, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I'm not done with that. So right. yeah, 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 go on. I think that uh, it, it, I don't want to say like go and buy it. I just think that if you want to be a DP and yeah, you're yeah. at that stage where you're putting yourself out as a DP, for indie stuff, people will expect you to have. And, yeah. and, and the good thing is that now we have options. 